Hi! Today we are going to test bicycle brakes. And film it with thermal camera of course. And we are bottom of quite large hill. I think it's about maybe 30 meters high. And we have my fat bike and then one another bike. And we are going to test disc brake, rim brake and like foot brake, that small hub brake. And it's winter here in Finland, so we have some snow and ice, and we don't have stud, like studded tires, so there might be some traction issues, but I try to manage with them. <laughs> yeah, I think we are going to start with the shittiest brake, aka the hub brake, and then move towards the disc brake. And here starts the first test with. I wait that car. And I am going to brake only with the rear brake. So I think I have to start quite early because it's very shit to way to stop. Yeah, I have to brake on now. I don't want to go too fast. Maybe a bit faster. Yeah. Here is really my face is freezing. And now I'm going to start stopping. Yeah, I had plenty of power. And now with the rim brake. And this is like V-brake and just front tire. And I think I can go a bit faster now. I can even like pedal some speed. No shit, there's car. Yeah, that is going to get out to my way. We are going quite fast. And brake, it's quite slippery. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So here I come with the rim brake and I had some traction issues. You can see the skid marks on the ground and the rim itself didn't get very hot, only about 2 degrees of Celsius and the Pads were even colder, they didn't heat at all. And the rim was also a bit difficult to measure because it's so shiny. Here you can soon see, here you can see that the, it, it is reflecting things around it. But luckily the whole rim isn't so shiny so we could measure the temperature. Yeah, and next the disc brake. And now it's fat spike turn and now I should have plenty of traction. I have 4.8 inch tire and I'm going to go with the full speed and brake about 20 meters before the cameras. Yeah, and I analyzed the data using FLIR tools and I got the highest reading of 90 degrees Celsius. So it was clearly the hottest brake, but it has also the smallest mass taking all that energy. So I think that makes sense. And you can do also other things with that FLIR tools than just take some temperature readings. You can adjust the colors on the video, so I make 
that uh, it doesn't show anything below 20 degrees Celsius. So now you can see only the hot disc break on the video, which is quite strange. Yeah, I don't know yet how hot those brakes were. I have to check that on computer. They were so small from the distance that I have to use FLIR software to make any sense of that. And all the brakes were capable of dealing that this hill, at least on, on winter. There is about minus 20 degrees Celsius, so it's quite cold. So if there's summer, the brakes would be in much tougher challenge. And I think the, that hoop brake was the hardest to control and the disc brake was the best. And I am an excellent bicycle driver. <laughs> of course you are. So if you like the video or do you like bikes, smash that like button and comment what we should film next. And please share the video and tell about this channel so it helps us to get these cameras here more often. And yeah. Have a nice day.